For the next lesson, you'll need your color illustration card and two lesson cards. One is titled Fractions, Decimals, and Percents, and the other is titled Fractions, the Brick Wall. Look at the pie chart on the back of your color illustration card. You can see that each wedge is a fraction of the whole circle. Now look at the two lesson cards. Notice that each fraction can be written in words or shown many ways, as a diagram, as a numerator and denominator, as a decimal number, or as a percent. When the number is written as a numerator and denominator, the horizontal bar can be read as divided by or out of. For example, all these expressions are equal to one half, three sixths, three divided by six, and three out of six. The denominator shows how many pieces or objects are in one whole, meaning one whole set, or one whole circle, or one whole row of the brick wall. The pieces are always equal in size, known as aliquot parts. The numerator shows how many of these pieces are being counted. If one pizza is cut into eight equal slices, you will have eight eighths. You can see the same thing on the brick wall. One long brick at the bottom can reach all the way from the right side to the left side. But if the brick is cut into fractions, it will take several of these smaller bricks to cover the same distance. Look at the brick labeled one-fourth. Put something on the left edge of this brick, going from the top of the brick wall to the bottom of the brick wall. You can use a ruler going up and down, or the edge of another lesson card. Now look at the brick labeled one-eighth, and the one-eighth brick that is next to it. You can see that two-eighths equals one-fourth. Try another example. Put your ruler across the middle of the brick wall, dividing the right half from the left half. How many smaller bricks are exactly equal to one-half? The answer is at the bottom of the card. You can read the answer along with me. One-half equals two-fourths, three-sixths, four-eighths, five-tenths, or six-twelfths. All of the fractions in this set are equal to one-half, so they are also equal to each other. Two-fourths equals three-sixths. Five-tenths equals six-twelfths. In all these examples, the top number, or numerator, is half the bottom number, or denominator. In all these examples, the top number divided by the bottom number equals 0.5, or 0 0.50, or 50%. You can try this for yourself. Turn your lined paper sideways and set up a division problem using the same format you see on the inside of your color illustration card for Lesson 1, Problem 5. In our first example, we'll use one-half, one divided by two. Put the number one inside the division bracket and the number two outside on the left. How many times does two go into one? None. You can write a zero over the one to start your quotient, or just leave that part blank. Now write a decimal point after the one on the blue line and transfer it up to the same place in the quotient, right on the blue line. The number one has no tenths and no hundredths, so you can fill in two zeros to the right of the number one inside the division bracket. 
bring the first zero down so you can continue dividing. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5 times. Now your quotient should read 0.5. 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 minus 10 is 0. So you could stop there. If you want to find a percentage, keep going. Bring the second zero down. How many times does 2 go into zero? Zero. Now your quotient should read 0 0.50. Write this answer again in a space to the right of your division problem. Put your pencil on the decimal point and move it two spaces to the right. Now write a percent sign after the number. 0 0.50 equals 50 percent. In a moment, you should pause while you try more examples on your lined paper turned sideways. For each fraction you choose, do the division problem, then convert the decimal answer to a percent by moving the decimal point two spaces to the right. You should choose fractions from the lesson card titled Fractions, Decimals, and Percents, and check your answers using that lesson card. Start with one-eighth. Practice converting one-eighth to 0.125, then to 12.5%. Next, choose some other examples from the same lesson card. Come back when you are ready to continue.